Hi, <coughs> it's me again. I'm in Toronto lab right now. I've been here for two weeks again. I'm leaving tonight. Um, we did some tests, uh, quite a few tests, uh, with those two transformers. And uh, I light up the bank. I had witness actually, I uh, have a heavy duty D um, contractor, electrical contractor. I saw he does work with uh, high voltage and stuff like this, and he was with me. Uh, last night, uh, but we had uh, before we put the cap, I could run all that off. Since my new motor here comes out, I put another motor and put the root generator on that motor, which is, uh, I believe, that is a four, four half horse more than whatever that one. I it doesn't say the horsepower, but the generator itself is at 1200 watts. But last night, when we try it, we put a cap. A 14,000 14, volt cap uh, between the between into the line here, and we had a little bit of an accident. Our cable, since I put the caps far away because if something happened, those things those things blow up, and they're not nice when they blow up. So I gave myself a little bit of safety, and uh, when we started, one of our wire for some reason slid down. It was pretty windy last night, and he moved one of our wire, and he got too close to the can. And after, when he got to close the can, of course it's 14,000 volts, uh, it jumped out into the can, on the, on the frame of the can, and then follow my lead, which is my negative, and to, that's X1, I'm feeding in, X2 is my neutral, and X3 is my other secondary. So what happened is 14,000 volt went back into my little generator and I fry the coils out of it. I can't push anymore. I have I got two new two other coils but they're in BC so next time I will do that so people can see it. But at that point in time I can run six thousand light a uh, six thousand watt with a light with a twelve pound watt at, uh, and try to maintain my volt. My volt does drop a little bit and it's just a question of stabilizing, but this is just a show and tell, a multiplication of those can, of those 225 transformer does happen, and, and, and it's, it's, it's not an argument. I have so many witnesses, I have certified electrician, certified engineer, and they do have uh, no problem, you know, just, you know, coming to this line and says, yes, it did uh, do the multiplication. So over unity is not something is impossible, it's, it's easily achieved as long as you don't screw up with those uh, 14,000 volt wire. Matter of fact, when, I, uh, when it happened, uh, I had to stop the whole thing and those generators they don't stop right away, so I, 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 I moved the wire quickly, but I got hit at 14,000 volt into my, to my arm. But since those transformer, they don't, I don't run it to the ground, they don't recognize the earth ground. So all I got is a 14,000 volt entry, but no exit. So I became a capacitor. So in other words, I was a little energized, but uh, it doesn't kill you, it doesn't put in any marks, uh, no burn, no nothing. It's just like being hit with an electric fence, um, a little bit longer duration instead of being a, a, a tiny little zap, it's a longer zap. So it, it stinks a little bit like a, a wasp thing, and that was it. But it is dangerous, I mean, like, you know, if you have a pacemaker, it would have probably popped the battery right out of you. But, uh, you know, it, it is. The, the multiplication happened in those scan here. And, and people don't realize is by oscillating the plate, right, on, the, on those transformer, the magic's happening between the plate and side. And that's why I can shoot 120 volt and produce 14,000 volt out uh, with potential. And I have enough potential on 1200 watts, I can actually run 6,000 watts, not at full, full blast, but at probably 85% capacity, which I'm still creating the maximum, almost the maximum heat, heat out of, of, the, uh, of the ball. And it's too bad we blow up the generator and before we did the, the thing, but I have enough witness now, I don't really give it then. Uh, the multiplication is there, uh, over unit taste is highly achievable. Uh, it's not a myth anymore, it's a fact. And if everybody wants to uh, tell, you know, 
want to prove me uh, any different. I challenge about anybody at this point in time uh, to come up in this lab and prove me wrong here. I don't care what they are, nuclear physicists, uh, uh, electrical engineer, electronic engineer, uh, engineer, whatever they come, I don't give a damn. They can come here and, and tell me what I'm doing is wrong. I'll have the generator re rebuilt, I have new coil, I'll bring new coil next time, and I'll redo it again. And uh, they can they can look at it and test it and, and put the instrument on it. You know, over unit tape, we've been doing over unit tape for many, many years, but no one can see it. So at that point in time, I'm not gonna do too much about it beside when I come back I'll change the coil and do a short video. But 1,200 watts, 6,000 watts. So I don't care how bad of a calculator you are. I don't care if you never learned how to calculate. You have fingers and toes to count on it. So you can count. You can count the the, the light bulb. It's, it's all 300 watt light bulbs. And uh, yeah, I uh, open a challenge for anybody to tell me I'm wrong on that one. So we will. We'll, uh, we will cut short on that one because I want to talk about something else in a different direction in the lab. So um, there you go. That's uh, too bad I didn't. Uh, I blew the generator last night, but it was a different test. I want to put this cap into it, and you know we didn't pay attention too much of to that wire, and the wind picked it up and bring it close and start arcing on the can, and uh, it went right back to that poor little guy. So he's supposed to produce 120 volt, not 14,000. So the coil, what happened here is the, arc, the, the wires, the uh, insulation of the wires, now it's arced between the row and I have no more power. I can produce like this here, 120 volt, but I have no power to push it up. So that's as far as we are with that. So let's shut that up and I'll move the camera the other way and we can set it up so we can talk a little bit about other stuff. Hi, right, it's me again. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a little sweep of my corner. I finally claim a corner in the lab. And this is my workbench. As you see, I got quite a bit of equipment to work now. Uh, frequency generator, um, power supply as I got some pretty good sized power supplied. This one in the bottom is a 200 volt DC power supplied, and one on the top is 30 volt, a 60 volt power supply, and the small one is 30 volt power supply, which I got, you know, other, other power supply, but uh, now we're working pretty much on, uh, here's my oscilloscope, portable oscilloscope, which is really handy to have when you're working with uh, oscillation or frequency. This is the motor, we're still waiting for parts to put together, and waiting here is unbelievable. So, I'm just giving you a sweep, and yeah, that's my working corner. So I'm gonna set it up, so I can talk it to you, guys, to you folks. not that, that, that dangerous when you're working with a little guy like this, right? So everybody's capable of doing that. Everybody have pretty much played with RC in their life or they're plan, planning to. But uh, this motor I have absolutely, you can see, matter of fact, I'll give you a close shot. 
I don't know if we, I'm gonna go and see here. There's nothing in here who can actually make sound beside the stator and the magnet. So the big myth there, people say, oh, the controller make, uh, make the sound, but full of shit, literally. It's not such a thing. Soon, every, if you have any frequency whatsoever, any frequency, it doesn't matter if it's sine wave, RF wave, uh, impulse wave, uh, what they call impulse, it's, it's just a shorter square wave, uh, you name it, harmonic, it's there. Uh, this whole world run on harmonic. Uh, uh, harmonic means more likely balance. And it's the effect of total balance. And that's what this world run, an harmonic of frequency. It's a balanced frequency. It makes what you are, how the, the planet, we have fly here, obviously I'm in a, I'm in a country. Um, and uh, we, uh, harmonic, it just controls everything. You remove harmonic in this world here, with all the frequency we're living through, and there's a total chaos. Uh, nothing will work, nothing, everybody will be out of source, as a matter of fact, they might even, you know, the, the world might, might even end, but, you know, it's about harmonic. Harmonic is, 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 is the total harmonic, it's, it's a perfect balance of everything, which the universe work on a perfect balance and harmonic. If it was not, then the universe would be a chaos and we, I wouldn't be here talking to you because we would not exist anymore. So, but... Everything turns have to have a current. Now, a current is very simple. It's a motion. You know, everybody's calculating this and this and that. You know, volt, time, amp, and blah blah blah. Well, it, it, it just it, it just takes you into a circle, well, around and around and around. And you'll never find yourself home. And that's the reason why people uh, they cannot find over unity because they use the mathematic which is being given to them. 400 years ago, and uh, I believe 400 years ago, they didn't know it as far as we have today, because unless we went stupider during the years, then I can say, okay, well, we were stupider now, and, and they were smarter at that time. But we do a lot of stuff they could not do all in on at that time. So that's why I'm having a problem with, and, and using 400 years old calculation as, as today's fact, because we, we, we already, the world of science already know, you know, a lot of the stuff, it, it's wrong. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't behave that way. And especially when it comes to current. Well, current, it's a motion. Uh, DC, it's not a current. DC, it's a resistance, and they have amps. DC volts have amps. AC volts, do not have amps, have watts, because it's got a motion. So what you do, you take the amp and you mutate it to watts. So that's when you take a battery, 12 volt battery with amps, and you put an, an oscillation. It doesn't matter if it's a, 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 a square wave or, or, or a signal. As long as it's got motion, then it's just like taking the amps and muted it to watt. And that's what they got now. It's watt and volt, not amp, watt and volt. And a story. It's like saying, oh, it's impossible. It's like, you know, it's a lot of people. I had, I had uh, an engineer here. Well, it's impossible because they're sticking again with the old calculation. Now, when you have, when you, when you, when you have a chicken and he laid eggs, right? Do you call the eggs a chicken? No. But the eggs will mutate to a chicken. So you hatch the eggs, then you get a chicken. Now, because the chicken came from an egg, do you call that chicken an egg when you run in the, in the field? No, it's not chicken. It's, it changed. It changed its form. And that's exactly what electricity and current does. It mutates. And you cannot keep it calling the same thing. Right? So, I mean, like, you know, it, it just doesn't work that way. We don't have electricity. Electricity is a battery. Soon you put a current, it's becoming something else. 
I'm not too sure the word I should put on it, but it's definitely not electricity because you can only store electricity in a battery, correct? So for therefore, a battery have electricity inside. Unless you want to reword the whole world, then I'm going to use that and prove me wrong. You know, it's that simple. It, everything works on frequency. I mean, a dead box have frequency, a bent nail on the ground have frequency, uh, you know, everything works on the frequency. So why do we have to keep maintaining the same word for something behave different? That would be the dumbest thing to do in this planet, and we've been doing it for 400 years. So I figure, you know, it's time to wake up and call it something different. I mean, you, when you go to the restaurant, because you order pancake, you don't call it eggs, but it's got eggs in it, right? But no, the pancake, right? <laughs> it's that simple. It, you know, the will is not that complicated when you just think about it. It's just all the garbage we've been taught and, and the garbage we've been learned in school and, and on, on all the book, you know, I mean, now you're looking at dictionary, and, and I, I want people to, to, to do that. How the word has been manipulated. The, take a dictionary, 50 years old dictionary, encyclopedia dictionary, not the the, 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 the encyclopedia, encyclopedia dictionary, the big one, the 20 pound guy, right? And go on, on, on Google, on, on, the, on, 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 on the internet, and go to the encyclopedia on Google and look for the same word the description of the same word from the dictionary to Google. Total different explanation. I mean, the word doesn't sound the same anymore. I mean, the word sounds the same, but the meaning is totally different. It's like black and white. That's how they control population, by controlling their education. Because they don't educate people in school anymore. They program it. It's not an education, you know. School, anything else, anything when a group of people or are bound to teach something right now, they're not teaching nothing. They program people. Look, in BC, they're removing reading and writing in school. Now, what kind of babbling idiot will come out of there? They can't read, they can't write. What about if this electronic world died tomorrow? We'll have a whole bunch of babbling idiots walking around and they don't talk because they text all day. So they can't talk, they can't read, and they can't write. So, what of those people will be good for in this life coming? Absolutely not the zombies, because they have to be told every single little thing what they have to do. And it's too bad because you know, it, it makes for a society of stupid. And, 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 and a society of stupid is not a place to be. I mean, like, you know, we're already in society of stupid, believe me. All you gotta do is go and spend a couple hours in Toronto or Vancouver or Calgary, or Edmonton, or Montreal. Now look at the city. Just sit down for a couple hours and watch what's going on around you. And then when you go into a store, you ask a question from the person behind the counter. And a question, you should have the answer just like this, because it's behind the counter. This guy, when you ask a question, he looked like a deer, and and I'm standing in front of a headlight of a car in nighttime. It freezes. They don't know how to count. They don't know, what, they can't tell you nothing they have behind. They are there to sell you stuff, but they're not there to know anything. So that's mean they're only there to pick up a paycheck. They don't have any other capability besides their presence and in the end of the week, their paycheck. So that's the kind of civilization we're living today. So we can't go very far with that. Matter of fact, we are on rivers of society, you know. We, we, we're going backwards, you know. Uh, 50 years ago, they have way more sense, common, I mean, at least it was common sense. You used to go into a store and you ask, you know, uh, I'm looking for this. Oh, I know, I got it, it's over there. They go and pick it up and they get put it on the counter, right? Then you get a choice to buy it or not. Today, you're just sitting and 10, 15, 20 million bill, uh, dollar building and their store of goods and you go there and you ask them for a sample thing, right? Light bulb. I got 20 light bulbs. I have to empty three major stores. Rona, Home Depot, 
and the rest I had to go in a, and I, I take every one of them from a company, an, an electrical, a wholesale electrical here in the Toronto area. Can you imagine the thing that they have a multi, multi-million dollar building but they don't have light bulbs? You know, that's pretty pathetic, literally. I mean, the word is not strong enough pathetic, but I'm going to use it because this is what the world is, right? We're living in a pathetic world. Now, we have been going back tonight in Vancouver, and I finally find I finally got my sensor, uh, my and my uh, uh, note sensor, so I can actually put the sensor into mine, which is already ready to turn, and uh, connect the Einstein uh, uh, controller. Hopefully, the Einstein controller now he's got the right sensor. He should be able to make this thing turn. And if it turns fast enough, enough I will be able to loop it. So, uh, and then I will be able to show that that's going to be in the next week or so. But uh, after that, I'm, uh, I'm uh, going to, uh, I'm leaving to go to Australia. But I might have to swing. We have two motors getting built up right now. One is a 30 inches uh, outrunner motor, just like this one here. Like the Titanium one, but it's a 30 inches wide by 8 inches thick. And then I got another one. Is a 20 inches wide by 4 inches thick, and uh, we have to go to the to the factory. They want to make sure it's on our spec, and they can they can do some tests, you know, over there. So we'll be there for probably about three, I would say three to four days maximum, and then from there I'm going to Australia for a month. I have to uh, I have other people there. They want to set up and start doing set up lab and start doing research, and uh, they're gonna I'm gonna bring my knowledge over there, and I'm going to start it right away with what I got, and then they can take it from there after I'm gone, and, and I will be back and forth, and they will be able to continue it. But um, I, uh, I have people who take a stereo amp, just like the one I got, and they will connect it, and they did the connection with, uh, they push some sound into it, some music into it with the laptops, uh, I've, we got we got sight now. A lot of people are doing things because they think it's funny, but when they do it, hey, it works. And they're listening to music through a motor. It's not turning, but they can listen to music through a motor. So uh, if it does motor, they run. They can listen to music. If you time the stereo, see that's your neutral. The black wire is the neutral. Left, right. Okay, that's your two. Uh, by the way, those those uh, DC uh, brushes motor are two phase and not three phase. It's a total lie. You have one ground and two communication cable, so that makes two phase, not three phase. Uh, so anyway, so they they playing with that. They 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 they're listening music through a DC through a two phase motor, right? So now with the wave generator. If I would have more times, I would do the wave generator test, but I'll do that when I come back. Um, uh, I will use two wave generator, and I will time the wave signal. I will be able to time it offset, at whatever it takes to make those more turn. And there are a, they, they run on, not frequency, but sound wave those motor and all the other motor run on sound wave, it became sound wave. Matter of fact, uh, the big stator make, make music, every stator make music when you, you can take it an, 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 AC, mo uh, an AC motor, uh, induction motor, which all induction is they have brushes, uh, they all do the same thing. Every one of them will do the same thing. So for therefore, as long as we have a, an, an induction going on. An induction is very simple. The meaning of an induction is radio transfer. That's mean wireless communication between the stator and, and, the, and the rotor. That's all you got. It's no touching there, it's radio communication. You have to send a frequency which have sound in it. But every frequency, when people look at the frequency, uh, for example, I will uh, give you a little test after how the frequency you can range 
the hurt in the frequency and suddenly, boom, you get notes, perfect notes, as you go up per, per so many uh, uh, megahertz, a uh, kilohertz or megahertz actually, it goes up. You find the right space and then, boom, you get music. Every time you go, you change one megahertz, two megahertz, it's a different note. Now on a square wave, it's more likely, the square wave is your electric piano, right? And I will give you a little sample of, you know, I run a, a, a generator, frequency generator right through the speakers, which people don't do that, but I, I don't really care. I do that, right? I don't really care what people say anyway, so, you know, you always have, you know, everybody's got an opinion, you know. Uh, you know, my, my father used to tell me, you know, an opinion. Everybody's got an opinion, it's just like an asshole. Everybody's got one, so, right? Some people keep it covered, and some people put it up in the air. So that people who come up and say, oh, that's not true, that's not true, but, you know, what can I say, right? It, 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 you, you will hear it yourself. So what did I know? The, the, the whole thing is people, you know, I want people to start reacting and, and, and not just reacting, but understanding what's going on. Why we've been lied to. Why the government has been using that type of technology for many, many years and we don't have it, right? Because, oh yeah, that's right. We if we would be able to manufacture of energy by ourselves. So that's when you wouldn't have any control on us. Very simple. I mean, we're addicted to energy. We can't live to energy. If you want to get rid of that energy, you get right back into the Stone Age, right? So, and people cannot do that, this conversion to go back to the Stone Age. So, what we did, they do, they lie to us so they can extract more money and more work because we all, all we are is pretty much slave, zombie, whatever you want to call it, idiot, more likely, um, because we don't want to listen to what's going on. Well, I wake up a long time ago. I, uh, you know, when someone tells me something, if I don't believe it, I go out and test it. Now, we have, uh, we, we order <coughs> uh, the gentleman who owned this lab, uh, you know, prior to I came here, he ordered a Bedini, Bedini motor. So uh, anybody want to buy a brand new Bedini motor, right? We got one here. I will give you a, a good look at what a Bedini motor is, actually. Uh, I'm just going to grab the camera here. And give you a little tour what a Bedini motor is. So... And that's one side. And look at the wiring on this puppy, right? That's the nightmare for any person who does electronics. Now that's supposed to be a Bedini motor and generator, right? So the Bedini motor and generator, what it does is you use eight batteries, six volt batteries, to run the motor, to make it spin, and then uh, it charged eight more batteries, but it doesn't charge the batteries, it's, it's running. So now they put in a, a control box with a plug to plug into the wall so you can energize, run your BDN motor so you can charge eight batteries. So, I know the BDN since uh, before, you know, before, <laughs> Uh, internet existed. Soon he got into the internet, I, I checked, and I was there 40 years ago with an alternator. Sample alternator, remove, remove the center of it, put some four solid magnet inside, north, south, north, south, and you will have the same Bedini effect. You can give him a little push, and he start turning, and he dies. Because all the magnets are lined up at the same position, and he's kept four disc of magnet. So um, the gentleman bought it because he was he got snowed in with the Bedini people and we're talking about like 40 years old like you know and that's all they got so far that's the technology because Bedini did not make this. The actually the inventor which is long dead uh, you know, he, uh, Bedini pretty much takes this design and run away, and he's, he's been mil making millions of dollars, literally, 
selling something which doesn't really work because it's not finished and they can't they don't have the knowledge or the intelligence to finish it which I'm not even bother to do that to work on it that's what is brand new we just received it uh, you know if you want to just send an email my, my website if you want a bidini motor and you want to play with it it's a project for someone who have hundreds of years of time in his life because it's going to take that much to get this thing you know flying so but uh, I'm going to reset the camera and I'm going to give you a little bit of sound see if we can hear the sound a little bit where I'm going to be here all right I'm going to turn some of the stuff on Okay, I don't know if we can, I want to make sure you see the sine wave, yeah, that's going to be, uh, you can see it, okay, I'm only on sine wave here, right? Okay, I'm going to go to... still on no I turn that off so I can see see they all have sound now I'm gonna go to square wave I'm gonna reduce the uh, So loud, back up. Now I'm going to go to square wave. So they all have sound. Ram. Pause. When you get to the right level of frequency, they all have sound. Here's your noise, right? It's just a noise signal. Uh, we're gonna go to, let me see if I can change, give myself a little bit more juice. Okay, that's up. And now we'll go to our mic. Okay, that's our mic. And then here is pop. So we all know uh, sound wave. If you have a wave, you have sound. The sound will disappear as the uh, as the frequency goes up or down and is beyond the sound. Now, this, for human ear to hear sound. Uh, to, to, to make a sound or let, to capture a sound, I believe you have to have 13 notes. Uh, when you have less than 13 notes, then human ears can't hear. That's why you, can't, you cannot hear a dog whistle. 
because is not because it's beyond your range, it's because it doesn't have all the note in it. I mean, the range is the note. Uh, it can be very loud, that's your range, but if the note is not there, you won't hear nothing, but if the note is there, then it's gonna be, you're gonna hear something very loud. So the, the whole thing is, is very simple. It's everything move with, an os with, with emotion. Sound travel. Well, sound travel in our world, but sound do not travel in space. So what happened in space? You have to go with impulse. That means you have a small length of communication, a gap, space gap, total space gap, no real stat effect, and another sound, another sound bar. So like the sunlight, that uh, gamma ray, X-ray, all that stuff, right? Travel through space because they're Actually, it's the same wave that we use, we call here microwave. Microwave is pretty much uh, what makes the world communication faster because microwave is really, really fast compared to a normal wave. Uh, and normal wave cannot get out of our, in, in space. It just dies, it gets it get absorbed. It's no, it's no traveling on that. It's like same, and if people don't believe me, uh, Try to clap, clap your hand and see if it's going to sound anything when you're in a vacuum, right? It doesn't, you know, sound do not travel in vacuum, we all know that. So you have to be in the microwave form. And that's why all this, the little probe, the sand, all the communication is microwave, and all the picture you see is all uh, computer generated from the microwave co uh, uh, information coming out to you. And, uh, and uh, they're very hard to, uh, to really to, to break down. So, I mean, like, and, and the whole system, it's more likely, you know, and, and, and if you want to create a lot of power, if you use microwave. And that's exactly what Tesla was doing, between sending information, uh, 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 energy from one side to the other with antenna. They were microwave antenna. And that's what they used. And it was that way you don't lose, you don't have any loss in between. And, it, and that was his wireless you know, transfer of energy. And because it was using microwave. But in those days, they didn't have the word microwave. So they didn't even know how to call it. All they know is, hey, I have this radiant energy, whatsoever, and they call it, and I can move it from one place to another with two antenna and receiver and transmitter. And, and if you look at, at the Tesla, now it starts to make more sense, is, is apparatus it was using. It's always have a massive amount of battery, so he can crank up his volt. He put it through a a uh, switching system, a rotary switching system, to create a herd into it, which is an on-off, on-off, pro a proper on-off, which through impulse cannot be done with electronics. Can only be done mechanically, as today. And even the big power plant, they still do that mechanically, as today, because it cannot be achieved electronically. Electronically, you also, also will have a bleeding down and a bleeding back up, and a bleeding down and a bleeding back up. So that way you don't have an off period. You have the rheostat system. You know, it goes down, up, and down, up, and down. So when you put the microwave, what's happening is when you hit the microwave, you have potential carries with the microwave. That's why microwave tower is so dangerous. That's why you cannot stand in front of the dish. When they send a communication through microwave towers, you will be vaporized. Because I was 13 years old when I saw someone got vaporized in front of microwave towers, in the front of the dish. And it was no fluid left into it. It was like literally put into a small bag because he weighed nothing. All his weight was totally gone. And that was a military a microwave dish, which is, was very powerful. So, at that point in time, when I was a kid, I didn't quite understand. All I know, he, he got fried, right? Now, today, I understand what happened to it. And, uh, and uh, it's, it was not pretty. He didn't suffer, didn't feel nothing. It was instant. Now, when people say, like, you know, uh, why, what's the speed, right, of, of cold radiation? Because you can produce cold radiation, you can create cold radiation with it really easy. And which I do all the time, and high voltage. Uh, what happening is when you do cold radiation, how fast cold radiation or heater or whatever you want to call it, how fast it travel? 
Well, it's very simple. You don't have to have a calculator, right? It's called instant. It have no time delay. It's instant. That's why we have communication today, which is instant. If it wouldn't have microwave, we wouldn't have instant. Digital, you know, digital is, is, is the closest thing as microwave. When you say digital, they just change, they just put another word on the same horse, right? I mean, instead call it, you know, uh, a, 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 a purebred uh, quarter horse, right? They call it, you know, a classman, a classman. So, I mean, like, you know, it's just a different name they're throwing in it, and that's how they confuse people, right? Because people don't have the knowledge to be able to say, hey, that's not it, you know, uh, uh, you know because they buy, if, 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 if we, uh, the government tell them something, they might as well, you know, it's just like, you know, and I'm not, excuse me, I'm not religious, but it's like, oh, that's come from God, right? The, 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 the people they feel about the government like they're God or something, they're not. The thief is. They're, they're thugs, they're controllers, they are, they're, it's very simple, uh, you know, you ever see a government giving something to people without taking five times as much back in, in, in countries? I never see one of them. They take, but they don't take, they don't give you, they give you, they take from you and they throw you like the old days, the rotten bread and apples and veggie and vegetable back to you. That's what you get back. Right? And that's what we walk around the world. When you travel around the world, you will see ruin and stuff like this. That's exactly what happened. They get people, the peasant got tired to eating raw vegetable and raw food, and they just burn, you know, the town down. And that's what you got ruined today. It was not war, you know. It was not a question of war from another country. It was their own people did it. It's that simple. I mean, like, when you piss in people's conflict so long, after a while, you get a bad taste in your mouth, and uh, suddenly some people will grow some balls and say, enough is enough, right? But in today's society, you know, ball is something is very rare to find because people don't have them anymore. They will remove. You know, when people go out and, and, and you know, everybody have to be circumcised, I think they take the balls off too. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny to say that, but literally, you know, we're making stupids. I, and cowards, because you don't want to ask question to the master and, and, and challenge the master with what he said. You go to jail, right? Soon you say, I, I don't think you, know, you guys are doing something wrong. You go to jail, or a lot of people go to jail. A lot of people went to jail because they find different ways to make powers cheap and it doesn't cost nothing to run and they disappear or they go to jail. So what I'm saying, if it's not true, why those people go to jail? Why those corporations and the government put those people to jail? You know, I want you guys to tell me that. You know, it's that simple. I mean, like, you know, it's not, a, it's, all you gotta do is think about it. Why they should go to jail? Because they, they discover something, you can run the whole world for nothing, right? Well, the government can't make any money and the big corporation cannot make money. So we actually been run. We are the slave of corporation and government. And that's how we are, slave, right? Uh, the good slave got three weeks pay holidays. The bad slave, well, he's got to work three job, right? Because it's, it's a bad one. So, you know, this is, this is what, you know, the whole thing to me, it's a, fur, it's a, it's a, it's a big farce. It, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I mean, it takes me some time, but listen, I, I started with nothing and I'm, I'm discovering stuff af, as, as I go. So, I mean, like, you know, to me, uh, finding out all that stuff and I like to share it with everybody. So, you know, I'm, I'm not making a race. If someone comes up and makes something before me, I will go and shake his hand and say, man, you did it. You know, you, 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 know, you beat me to it, which is good. Right? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the person to say, hey, I, I want to do that first. I'm, I'm holding all the secrets. No, I want thousands and thousands of people to do what I do, do research, to find them on their own. And I want people around the world to do their own research and to find out the lies, you know, and then expose all the lies. I mean, if we have thousands of people around the world finally waking up and expose a lie, guess what? 
all those big corporation owners and all the government, they're like carpenters. When you turn the light in the, in the building, when it's got roaches, where do they go? They go in the corner in the dark, right? And I need stuff. That's how they are. They're cowards. They don't have power on, on anybody. They, have, they throw fear into you, but they don't have no power. If you don't have fear, screw them. You know? So what are they going to do to you? Throw you in jail, kill you, whatever. Oh, well, you know what? I'm 50 years old. I don't give a shit. You know? Been there, done that. So I don't give a shit. You know, literally. So, I mean, like, you know, uh, people who, who doesn't believe in that, I don't really care. My, my, the, Josh is the man who's doing my, 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 my YouTube. He's taking care of all, all my YouTube and, my, and, and, and all the people who, who send me email and respond to it. And, and I talk to him and he phoned me and how to respond. And he, some, he gets mad because some people, that they're just a bad mouth what I'm doing and bad mouth everything it and bad mouth this and bad mouth that. I mean, like, you know, those, you know, they're just losers, you know, they, they never achieve to anything or they work for the government or a power company, one or the other, an energy company, a government, it's the same thing. Right? They all sleep in the same bed. So um, hopefully my, uh, when I go back, I'll, uh, if, you know, as soon as I put my parts together, I'll do another video and if I can get the uh, outrunners uh, running properly. Uh, and self loop, and it will definitely will be in the video immediately. And after that, I'll be uh, preparing for my trip. Uh, probably come back here in Toronto for a week, and then preparing for my trip in uh, in China and Australia. So um, for the people that are waiting for me and Fiji, uh, I'll be there soon. We're just getting ready here, and uh, hopefully, uh, I, you know, I, I can't wait for to just see you guys. Uh, especially, you know, a few people who, who helped me. Matter of fact. Uh, a lady, very nice lady, who's helping me, and uh, she, I asked her if I, you know, if I want to mention, so I can mention her name. She's the one who's been uh, the, my backbone of the of the whole thing here. Uh, Brad also, uh, the, uh, it, 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 from Australia. You know, uh, 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 Marilyn is, is is a fantastic lady. She's 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 uh, she's she's just probably as crazy as I am. I mean, she uh, she's full of. Uh, piss and vinegar and she want to get this thing done and put it to the people with me so uh, you know I can I cannot say thank you enough and all the people and my friend here with the lab uh, I'm helping putting his lab together and stuff like this it's, it's just like you know it's uh, sometimes it's, it's when you think about it like wow six months ago I was on my couch in my place you know trying to figure out what was happening right that with this cold radiation I was getting and now I know I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here in lab, and, you know, he spent $360,000 to put this lab together here and, and throw some, some equipment and, you know, and then we've been helping each other and, and, and going forward with this thing. So it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's, it feels good to see some people out there who actually know what's going on and have a feeling what's going to happen. Uh, instead of being, you know, me by myself walking, you know, and, and, and try to, to, to tell everybody how things work and stuff like this. And, and not even how things work, but try it, do the test yourself, figure it out by yourself. You know, you will see the, the results. You will see how it behaves. The behavior tells everything, right? I mean, you can tell a person by his behavior. So why can we tell a, 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 an energy by his behavior? And that because, I don't know. You have to use advanced math. You have to use mathematics. You have to use this. You have to you have to use equation they were invented 400 years ago, right? I mean, we might as well go back to the time you know, when they said the world was flat, right? Because now apparently that same thing is coming back again. We have a whole bunch of stuff on the internet. The world is flat. I flew around the world quite a bit of time, and the world is like you know I don't know, man. <laughs> It's a hard one. To, it's a hard one to call because I don't know what to really to say when someone brings something like this and the world's flat. So I never see any bolt falling off the earth yet, and a plane flying off and never be able to come back because it it flew too far away from the, the flat earth. But anyway, that's just another thing, right? Which is going on on the internet. As we know, 85% of the internet, if it's not bullshit, is a straight lie. So there you go. So um, folks. That's what it is, and uh, we will uh, probably talk to you again in uh, a week or so, two weeks, if I have some, uh, if I finally get my one spinning with the Einheim uh, controllers after I put the sensor in it, 
Uh, I definitely will make a video and put that on YouTube immediately. And then from there, we're gonna do more tests and loop it around and all that good stuff. Because the, loop, the, the looping around is very simple. It's done with a controller. That's all you gotta do. You don't, it's no big, big problem to loop up. If you create more energy than what you put in in the first place, looping around is a simple thing as a transfer switch. $12 worth, transfer switch, that's all it is. You get it to speed and then transfer it on its own power. So you bring some power to it, a battery with an inverter, you bring it to speed, as soon as it's up to speed, you, you, you transfer the switch to its own power and you run by itself. That's what the self-runner is. So folks, that's gonna be, yeah, that's about it for me. And I'm gonna get ready here and relax a little bit before I fly back and on to, uh, to Vancouver. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon, guys. Catch you later.